Hey guys, and I'm here to show you a video of um, our tutorial on how to dual boot your computer and also more importantly um, make partitions on your hard drive so you can install your other operating system. So what I basically want to do is um, I downloaded a new the official beta for Windows 7 that Microsoft released this week so what I'm basically going to do is going to replace my old build that I had and install this new one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the partition and I'm going to make a new one for this build and I can increase the and I'm going to increase the the size of the partition if, so if I want to expand it more later on so what it's doing now it's it's copying um, the ISO for the builds from my downloads to a section where I'm going to keep it on my secondary drive because it, I, that's where I keep basically all my downloads. So now I want to get to um, Windows Disk Manager. I said a partition manager earlier, but it's also it's called, technically called Disk Manager. So I just go to Start. I go to Control Panel. Go to System and Maintenance. At the bottom, you see Administration Tools right here. You want to press create and format hard drive and disk partitions. And it'll ask me these stupid questions again. So we have um, the disk management tool open. And what I want to do is I want to remove the Windows 7 partition from a 500 gig hard drive, which you can see down there labeled disk 1. You can see I have the partition labeled secondary drive, and then I have the partition labeled Windows 7. So I want to delete that and it's pretty simple actually, you just take the mouse, right click it, and then you press delete volume. So you right click and you press delete volume. And it's going to ask you, do you want to do this? Yes, you can say continue. Now it's going to delete the volume. Of course we have another warning. Yes. So now you can see I have all this unallocated space, which is labeled in the black right there. And I want to use that unallocated space oops, to um, create a new unused partition to install Windows 7 on. So what I want to do now is... Um, um, shrink the secondary drive volume because uh, 43 gigs for an operating system isn't that a lot so I want to make it to 60 gigs so basically I uh, um, shrink this volume about to about 20 gigs and then increase this unallocated space 20 gigs more or it'll automatically do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on secondary drive I'm going to press shrink volume it's going to compute and then it's going to ask me how much I want to shrink it by so 20 gigs is about, you know, 200 or 20,000 megabytes, sorry. So if you can see there, I, pre I enter 20,000 and it's going to give me 410,000 megabytes left or 40, 410 gigabytes left. So that's fine. I don't care. So I press shrink and it shrunk. So you, know, you can see I have 63 gigs of unallocated space. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and I'm going to make, I'm going to press new simple format. You can see it decided right there, new simple format. So I just press it and it's going to go through the wizard. So it's going to ask me um, how much do you want to, how much space do you want it to give? I'm going to press all of it, so all 53 gigs. I'm going to give it a number, so I'm going to make it F, which is already what it was before. I'm going to press next and I'm going to make it NTFS. And I'm going to do a perform quick format. Already formatted drives don't need to do the whole shebang for the for the long format. So you can just press um, quick format. So that will just easily take care of it. So it won't take like an hour. And um, I am going to give it a name. And I'm going to call it Windows, oops, Windows 7. And then... Yeah, you leave everything pretty much at default and that's it you just press next it's gonna 
do all the, give you all the the details and then you just press finish and as you can see there you now have a new partition and this little window popped up giving me my partition folder so that's pretty much it so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the ISO that Windows 7 came in and install it so now I'm here with the ISO of the Windows 7 beta it's actually built 7000 but that doesn't really matter so now I'm gonna virtually mount this um, onto the computer so I can install it now I'm not gonna use a DVD drive to mount it or using a DVD because I'm not going to use it. I mean, just going to install it once and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to use a program and I recommend this program. It's a really nice one. It's called Magic Disk. I'm a virtual CD DVD um, manager. So it, what it does is it virtually creates a DVD drive and in my case it's called a Drive L and you can basically use it as a virtual DVD drive. So it's not physically in the computer but it has the same sorry it has the same features so what I'm going to do right here you can see at the bottom I'm going to right click because it opens in the task manager and I'm going to um, I'm going to go to the, my um, L drive which has no media so I'm going to press um, mount so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to find well, I'm going to find the 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 ISO so I'm going to go to secondary drive here I'm going to go to documents and I'm going to go to finish download on the 7 official build and here it is so this is my ISO right here and then I'm going to press open now you just give it a second so it can you see that it has a run now and I can just press it and it will open up hopefully the build just give it a little bit you see Windows 7 I'm gonna press yes install now so I will wait till this finishes loading it up for a second okay so now we're here so it started loading and um, it asked me if I wanted to search for updates automatically and since this is actually an official build I am going to say yes so on the earlier builds I said no because it will screw up everything but now since it's supported as a beta by Microsoft I will say yes this time so now it's please waiting a lot and I do accept the terms of agreement and I'm going to go custom. So now I'm going to go to my partition right here as you can see it finds it as Windows 7 partition and it's, it's 63 gigs so that's good and then I'm going to press next and it is going to install so I will see you later once this finishes so now it's loading up and so you can see since there's no drivers installed it's going to be all nice and big and it's going to continue the installation. So it installed the OS and I ran through a normal installation. So this is what's happening as you can see down there. This is Windows 7 Ultimate, which is exactly what we look for. This is Build 7000 um, from Microsoft released today, which is January 9th, 9th and 2009. It so for I use the older beta, one of like a Build 6 6809, I think, or 801. I'm not sure, but that was really good. So this is. A more complete and um, supported beta from Microsoft so it's like legal you can guys do this too I'll get a link for you guys to if you want to download it I will make a video of this showing all its features but there you go hope this helped bye